Hi, my name is Jessica Swap Massengill, and I am the 4-H and Ag Agent in Grant County, New Mexico, and today I want to share something with you that is called the 4-H Livestock Record App. Um, if your kiddos um, have livestock 4-H animals, um, this is an absolute game changer in terms of keeping track of their feed, all the expenses, the income, the health records, all in one place. Um, this app is for your iPhone and your iPad, um, where you can organize all of this data and then you can actually export it um, and then move it into your project record books. This is a free app that you can find at apps.nmsu.edu, and it was funded by Tractor Supply and the National 4-H Council. Livestock Record App was put together by the Learning Games Lab at New Mexico State University. Um, and the only thing um, that you need to keep in mind about this particular app is that it is for Apple devices only. So the first thing you're going to see when you open the app um, is the first screen, which is going to have your users. Um, so this is where you're going to put in all of the individual um, kiddos that you might be keeping track of their animals. So this can be used by parents. Um, it can be used by kids themselves. Um, this is a very user-friendly app that your, um, your children can actually put on their own phone and keep track of their own records. Um, also, if you're an extension agent or a project leader or something like that and you're keeping track of multiple kids, this is the way to do it. So you're going to add in your users. Um, which I only put in one today, which is my example, um, Johnny 4-H. So I just hit that plus button. I put in Johnny 4-H. I added a picture um, just for fun. And um, then after that, you're going to skip over to uh, Johnny 4-H's main screen. This is where all the information about um, Johnny 4-H's, you know, project, um, the events, the finances, um, the animal itself, this is where all of this is going to be stored and how you're going to get to it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add an animal for Johnny. And um, it looks like we have a pig named Sparky. Um, this animal in the about field, we can put in whatever we want here. I just put in a few things that maybe might be helpful. Um, you might want to put in some pedigree information where you got this animal. Uh, maybe even the information, a phone number, address, something of the seller, um, just in case you ever need to get a hold of them again. Um, and this is also um, a good uh, a good point where you can add in a photo of the animal um, just to keep them straight. Um, I know I don't particularly ever remember the, the animal's name, but I know what they look like. <laughs> um, my kiddo is much better at remembering their names. I'm usually just calling them the cross pig. Um, once we're done inputting all that data, you can go ahead and click the done um, button and then it's going to store all the information for that animal. Next, you're going to want to add in any information for um, the events that um, have taken place. So jackpots, tagging, um, the day that you bought Sparky. Um, or I put sparkle in here, I think. Sparky and sparkle are used, um, and it's the same thing. <laughs> but um, anyway, it looks like you uh, have a few events here. Um, so when we put in an event, um, such as you bought, you bought Sparky, um, you can put in the title of that event, where, you know, anything about that event that you want to put in, where it was at, what time, um, anything that you think might be relevant to keep track of. I just put something in here um, just as an example. You know, maybe you bought this, this pig from an online um, auction, um, and then that way you can kind of keep track of that. Uh, you can also assign your events to a particular animal. So say that your kiddo has two pigs, um, but you only took Sparky to the jackpot, you can actually assign um, the event to the particular animal. Um, and then you can put the date, um, and then you're just gonna click done. All right, next we're gonna talk about money. Um, probably the hardest thing to keep track of, but the most important thing to keep track of when we're trying to teach 
um, our youth about responsibility um, and what it costs to raise these animals and, and kind of see where they end up when it's all said and done. Um, so we're going to talk about um, the income tab. So you'll see um, right there at the bottom that you'll, um, I have it in red, there's a little income button with the, um, a little piggy bank. Um, income is money that you've earned from your projects, so such as jackpots, any kind of sales, um, if you made your county fair sale or state fair sale, um, this is where you can input that, that income money. So you would just click on the plus button and put in the title of the income how much, um, what animal it's associated with. So if you made the sale with Sparky um, or you made some money off of Sparky at a jackpot, then you can um, associate him with that income and then you can put a date and click done. So next, um, it, we're gonna talk about expenses. So in this particular tab, um, and as you'll see, we're in the expensive tab, expenses tab, um, you'll be able to keep track of all the things that you're spending money on. Um, so each time you have to buy feed or um, you could even put in, you know, how much you paid for the animals, um, how much you spent on your tags and all of that, your inspection fees, entry fees, uh, all those types of things can be put in. So you would just click this plus button. Um, it'll take you to the expense screen. Um, where you can put in the title. Um, so for instance, it looks like they bought Sparky for 400 bucks. Um, again, you can tie the animal to the expense. Um, you can also put in a date for when the expense happened. And then you can just click done and that um, will all be saved where you can go and look at it at any point in time. Remember that expenses are things um, you, have, you have to buy to complete the project. Next, we have our assets screen. Um, these are things that you already own. Um, so maybe you have a feeder left over from maybe an older sibling or maybe a pig bat that um, you know an older sibling had that you already had. Um, these are things that you already own. So you can just input those things and assign them to the animal um, and the kiddo also. And um, and keep track of those things that way. And then you just click done and those assets will be saved. Next, we're gonna actually put in data for um, Sparky himself. Um, so we would go back to this kind of main screen for Johnny 4-H and go to his animal Sparky. Um, at this point, um, if you had multiple animals, multiple species, you would see them listed. You would maybe see, you know, Sparky the pig and, and uh, you know, a lamb or a steer or something like that. You could be listed um, all the way down, um, all of your poultry, rabbits, um, anything you want to put in there in terms of animals. Um, this app will be able to keep track of um, all the things that you need. All right, so we're going to be looking at Sparky's weight. Um, this is probably one of the bigger things to keep track of um, and you're going to want to stay on top of. So if you're on a weekly or monthly uh, weight schedule, um, this is the way to keep track of those weights and watch how things change. Um, so you would just go to the plus button and, and click that and it'll take you to the screen that you see on the right. Um, and this is where... Um, you'll put in all of those weights and then you can actually see them listed. Uh, looks like here we have a couple of weights put in about a week apart and it looks like Sparky is currently gaining 1.43 pounds a day. Um, that's something you're going to want to know as you go through the summer. Then we're on the feed tab. So um, if you uh, want to enter in your feed or your supplements, um, this is the place where you would do that. Um, I'm not uh, advertising for any kind of company um, in terms of feed. I just um, I just put these in as examples just so that you could see um, what kind of things you can put in on the feed tab. So um, you could put in the date that you started, um, your supplements, um, the date that you started, you know, your main feeds or your starter feeds. Um, all those types of things can be put in here and then you can have those um, 
kept to where you can see those later on down the line. Next is the health tab. Uh, this is where we're going to keep track of all of the health events that may go on um, with your animal. Hopefully there aren't a whole lot of them um, and that you have a good um, healthy animal in a, in a healthy year. Um, but if you needed to put in a health event, you would just click on this tab and click on the plus button. Um, and then you could go through giving information. So the health event might be you gave a shot of Ibamec, um, maybe you castrated, um, something like that. In the about field, you could put down um, my ag teacher came and gave my, my animal a shot of Ibamec or my extension agent or my dad um, or just anything that you might want to put in there. Um, maybe you want to put in the dosage amount, where you put um, that um, injection, um, just so that you have a record of that. Um, you would put it in this particular um, tab and then you can click done and it's going to save that. Um, once you have a few things kind of saved in there, um, you'll see those um, kind of in a summary um, where you can see the things, the health events that you have saved. And this is probably the coolest thing you can do with this app in terms of being able to keep track of this data um, and really use it all year long. You can export the information that you have put in all year, or your kiddos have put in all year. Um, you can export this data into your email um, as an Excel sheet. Um, and then um, the data entries um, into your 4-H livestock record sheets. Um, so probably the hardest thing when we go to do record books is trying to remember how much we paid for something or when we bought this or when we bought that or somebody, um, you know, won some money at a jackpot or something like that. It's always probably the hardest part of trying to put these together. Um, the good part about this app is you can export that and then you can just copy and paste right into um, your expense and income record and it's a total game changer and will make record books a much more pleasant experience for everyone, trust me. If you have any further questions, again, my name is Jessica Swap Massengill. I'm with the Grant County Cooperative Extension Service as the Ag and 4-H agent with New Mexico State University. You can reach me at 575-388-1559 or my email jessej at nmsu edu. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you're able to have a successful show year. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. Thank you.